Hey guys, welcome back to the Vent Rental Shop. Three and a half years ago, even though I say shop, we were only in our garage. So if you're interested in business, or I suppose watching this business grow, and you maybe have a small business yourself or a work from home business, consider subscribing. I would love to have you on. Anyways, let's get started. Let's talk about today's topic, damage waivers. guys what is a damage waiver well essentially it's just a line item on your invoice um, from our perspective we essentially charge an extra 10% of the total invoice so say someone's renting some chairs and tables for that add up to about hundred dollars the damage waiver ends up being ten dollars and the client can pay that extra ten dollars or opt out which um, actually oddly enough happens very rarely um, so the client can opt out, but if they pay the extra $10, well, say they inflict any damages onto the rental equipment, those damages are covered up to a certain amount. Now, we say a certain amount. In this case, we usually say $500 for our uh, anything, any total below $2,500, up to $500 is covered. By that, I mean for the really big jobs, more is covered because 10% of say a really big job of 10,000, just a damage waiver is a thousand dollars of 10,000. So it makes no sense that they would pay an extra 10,000 or an extra thousand dollars to cover $500 of damages. So for the lower or for the smaller jobs, 10% covers 500. For the bigger job, 10% covers uh, much more typically. Uh, closer to 5,000 because they're paying up to a thousand or 2,000 depending on the job for uh, for the damage waiver but I am digressing the point of this is that if they do some damages um, the damages are, are are covered oddly enough you would think if you added that more people would damage your stuff but they really they they, they really don't and so, yeah, maybe slightly more, but it's it's not a significant number. And uh, what ends up happening is that damage waiver essentially is profit. Now, think about this. If you add, um, say, a new item to your inventory and you're excited to rent it out because you think, you think and, and it probably will make you more money, but you think it's going to make you mon more money. The problem is you still have to buy that item, maintain that item, store that item, move that item. A damage waiver is an addition to the invoice, which is pure profit for the, uh, or almost pure profit anyway, for the business owner. So I highly, highly recommend it from a business's perspective, from a business's standpoint, to add a damage waiver if you have an event or a rental company. Please consider also, it's a very standard thing in the industry around here locally. And when I go out to rent stuff, a damage waiver is often added. And I don't think about it that much because it's just a standard thing. It protects me. It protects you. And usually it only costs a few dollars extra to have that damage waiver. From the business's perspective, it's absolutely fantastic. So adding a damage waiver was one of the best things that we did. Now we're five years old and we added the damage waiver only a couple months ago. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Uh, I am very happy now that it is added because we're making thousands of dollars extra just like that. Just like that. So if you're just starting out or considering started, or maybe you're kind of silly like me and you've had your business for years and years and you don't have a damage waiver, I'd recommend adding it because that those extra funds, they didn't go into my pocket. What they did is they bought new inventory, and they bought new gear, and we increased, as soon as I added that, we also increased wages. And wages are very important right now because obviously there are labor shortages, there's inflation, so we wanna kind of make up for that by increasing wages. 
and increasing retention times for our employees. So adding a damage waiver was absolutely fantastic for us. I highly, highly recommend you add one for your business. It's been great here. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Guys, take it easy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Consider subscribing. Work hard.